What's up, everybody? Welcome to Game Talk. I'm one of your hosts, Brandon, joined by my co-host, Ryan. We're here to talk about a little bit of video game news, but more so question-focused, because that was more fun and it seems more unique, I guess. We can put our own spin on stuff. So if you like the more discussion stuff, leave a comment, tweet at us, leave your responses to some of the questions we're doing, like some of you did last week. We'll talk about those once we get into questions, so that's exciting. Hell yeah. Um, there wasn't a super crazy amount of news that I thought was worth talking about. <laughs> I guess it's all opinionated. The biggest thing that came out was people got Series X's to dick around with. Did you see any of this? Mm-mm. I did not. So they sent them to a bunch of, like, influencers and websites like IGN, like, Greg Miller from Kind of Funny got one, some other people who just work and stream got them, but it's just to test some of the features and play old stuff. So no new generation optimized hardware for it, or optimized software. <clears throat> so the most interesting thing was load times for old games. So none of these games are, they didn't do anything to these games, like patch them or anything. This is just how they run on the new hardware. So the most interesting thing was load times with like control, normally 58 seconds, load yeah. times 10 seconds. I just pulled it cool. up so we can kind of see them. Red Dead Redemption 2, uh, Xbox One X load time, 2 minutes, 8 seconds, Series X, 38 seconds. So That's and, nice. And that's on stuff that's not even made to run for that hardware. It's just backwards. Right. With it. That was the most interesting thing. People really like the quick resume feature, which I still worry that that might hinder some games from running at like full potential. But it yeah. seems really cool because I don't bounce between games that fast, so it's not super like i'm sure it's nice and i will use it if i get a series x but it's one of those things where i'm like how much does this hinder other software potential yeah i could just be overthinking that Mm. yeah i think it'll be all right Mm -hmm. because like you said most people aren't really gonna utilize that like crazy it's just gonna be a thing like i'll probably forget that it's an option yeah it'll only be one we usually play multi-platform stuff more on playstation so it's like yeah. it would be nice for, and PlayStation hasn't announced a feature like this, so we don't know if PS5 will have it. But it would be nice if we're playing like Apex, or if I'm playing, you know, Uncharted 5 or some shit like that, and then you're like, hey, want to play Apex? And then I also have Apex running, and you just swap back and forth. Are you taking that. shots at me for not playing Killing Floor? No, I'm not. <laughs> it's like, yeah, every night. <laughs> I didn't even mention Killing Floor. <laughs> Immediately, I was like, uh, is this because I'm not jumping back and forth between Genshin and Killing Floor with you guys? No, not at all. Not at all. I mean, now I mean, that you I mention it, it, fair. it, has, fair. Been, <laughs> has been since last Saturday, and we've played literally like four days this week. I know, I know. It's great. And I've been on every single time, which is also surprising. Also, it was double XP this weekend, so you're missing out on that. That's how I got Berserker mm, up to, like, I, rank. Dude, I got Berserker up to, like, 18 already. Mm, I have, like, six characters up to level 20, so, I mean... Well, yeah, but you you could do that any day, not this weekend, when you can get double on killing <laughs> floor. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. One of these days, I'll jump back in. We'll talk about those games in a little bit. Uh, uh Smash? Steve from Minecraft was announced in Smash Bros. Mm-hmm. Which is cool. He was rumored for a while. Apparently this deal has been in the works. Nintendo's been talking to Mojang for like five years to try and get something happening. Uh, he seems really cool. Some people are not happy about it, I guess. I don't know. I'm into it. It's a more unique character than I... just a Fire Emblem person with a sword. Yeah, it definitely changes things up. I think that's really cool. Like, Yeah, did you watch the trailer? Yeah. Yeah, and like the building yeah, on the stages... Cool. It seems cool, and, like, Sakurai said it was a pain in the ass. They had to redo every stage to make sure, like, the block building could work on them, and there's, like, fucking 70 stages in this game. Like, man, give Sakurai a break. (laughs) Give him a vacation. (laughs) He looks so tired all the time. Yeah, no, it looks, uh, it looks like it's gonna be fun. I need to just bite the bullet and buy all the DLC characters, because I still don't have them. Because I don't play Smash that much, even though I love it. I was playing it a little more when I was using the elliptical before it broke, because I could play Switch. Yeah. And ellipticize. I need to figure something out to do cardio-wise. Yeah, so that's cool. So Steve is there, and then Alex is there, who's like 
they have s this similar move sets basically but then you can swap out steve for zombie and you can swap out alex for enderman i think is the thing's name this dude yeah that sounds right i mean i guess the circle will tell me probably Well, not specifically. <laughs> oh, there's a whole... There's like a big headline article, and then there's another article? That's confusing, GameSpot. I'm pretty sure it's Enderman. Oh, uh, yeah, that's right. So did you see the Spider-Man shit from this week? I'm just flying through uh, the articles, right, by the way. Which so. Spider-Man shit? The Spider-Man Remastered? Yeah, what about it? Did you see that they changed Peter Parker's face? I did. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So if you don't it's know... It's weird. It is weird, but I'm not <laughs> against it. So this is James Stevenson straight from the PlayStation blog. So included with Miles Morales Ultimate Edition on PS5, there is uh, Spider-Man Remastered, which adds more ray tracing. Tra ray tracing. Uh, <laughs> better performance. Um, better visuals. Uh, they had some costumes, a new trophy list, also the, all the DLCs included. So it's essentially $20 more for the Miles Morales Ultimate Edition, and it includes the full Spider-Man PS4 game, which I will probably honestly play a lot of it. I don't know yeah. if I'll play the whole game again, but I'm excited to play it on the new hardware and with the new the new stuff after Miles Morales, obviously. Got to play that new story first. So this is... They recast the the actor whose face is used for Spider-Man. Mm -hmm. It's still the same voice, so it's still Yuri, who's an awesome voice actor. And they say the reasoning behind it is that this actor's face lines up better with Yuri's motion capture for him talking, which seems like a legit reason. And going into next-gen, if that helps everything, right? I'm, I'm fine with it. If it looks cleaner and... Honestly, he just looks like Tom Holland. <laughs> Like, he, this like what? Like Tom Holland. This guy looks like Tom Holland, who plays Spider-Man in the MCU, if you're unfamiliar. Right? He does, doesn't he? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I, he looks like a 13-year-old boy going to a bar mitzvah. But Which I, that was, a lot of people were sure. salty about that he looks really young, and Peter's young. Yeah. In the game, Peter is 23, they said, so, and this actor's like 26. <clears throat> but he just looks No, really I mean, young. it looks good, though. I mean, it looks like, it, yeah, I, I get it. I'm yeah. not going to complain. A lot of people are pissed and salty about it, but I think it's one of those things where it's like you played a you know, 20 to 40 hour experience, depending on how much side stuff you did. With you also don't really see his face. face. You see it enough in like these cutscenes with Doc Ock and stuff yeah, like that. But... but also, his face always seemed a little like when the game first started. I was like, I mean, I like Peter, obviously, but his like hair was weird and like sometimes his face wasn't, I don't know. I was like, I liked it, obviously, but I'm if this yeah. makes that feel less wonky, I'm all for it, and I trust Insomniac. Yeah, I'd probably play it just for a little while to see what it yeah. looks like, um, and then jump into the new one pretty quick. Yeah, and they made one of the best superhero games, if not the best superhero game ever, so I trust them to <laughs> do what they want. Know what they're doing. And they announced yeah. the Amazing Suit. This was Andrew Garfield's Spider-Man suit from the Amazing Spider-Man 1 and 2 movies, if you're into that. That's going to be in the remaster. And then nice. they announced this dope suit for Miles Morales, the Trace suit. Did you see this? No. It's like black, white, and red. It's really cool. Cool. So there are pre-order bonuses. You get the Trace suit and then a different suit. And then you get three extra skill points and then some gadget. All that stuff you can get in-game. This just unlocks it early, so you're not missing out on this if you don't pre-order it. Which was kind of a pain in the ass to pre-order for PS5. Because I redeemed a bunch of Sony credit this week to pre-order PlayStation 5 games. Mm -hmm. And I, I couldn't find them on the PlayStation Store. So I had to go through like the PlayStation blog links specifically for pre-ordering. And use my account huh. that way. It worked. So I have Miles Morales and I pre-ordered Dark Souls right away. Miles Morales Ultimate Edition and Dark Souls. Huh. But you can't just go to the PSN store online and do it. I couldn't find PS5 games. The only ones I could find were like NBA 2K and like FIFA. I wonder if it would have overloaded, you know, their Maybe. their shit. Um, 
because I wanted to pre-order the digital editions because I had the yeah. PS5 but you'd think there'd be at least a whole PS5 section that they would set up. Yeah, and maybe they will closer to launch. I'm assuming they will. But yeah. And then I only have a couple more small things, and then we'll get into some questions. So did you see this Jason Schreier Cyberpunk 2077 news? So this is straight from Jason Schreier's Twitter. Last year, the bosses of CD Projekt Red approached me for an interview. They wanted to announce that for Cyberpunk, they would be avoiding mandatory crunch. And then this week, they sent out an email to staff announcing studio-wide mandatory crunch. <laughs> so it's like, it sucks. At least um, I read the article. It's a long article. It's very good because Jason tries really good. He does his research. But at least Polish laws make them pay, you know, overtime, even if they are salary kind of a thing. Whereas in the U.S., okay. uh, there's, there's a lot of crunch as well in video games but people don't usually get paid for the overtime because video game salaries yeah. are lower in general they're more of a bonus a bonus incentive culture which also makes the yeah. crunch rough and it's one of those things it's like what do we do as consumers to help avoid crunch and then also games crunch and then if a game people are like oh just delay it and avoid crunch but everything you hear from video game developers like when cyberpunk got delayed from the spring to the to the fall is that no it's not delaying the crunch it's just adding six more months of crunch <laughs> so it's like what do you do and then as a consumer obviously these people who are working six day work weeks want you to buy their game because it's a bonus culture and it's like they're put they put a ton of work into it of course they want you to buy it so it's like mm -hmm. there's not much we can do to try and yeah voice our it's just... disgust at crunch you know it just seems very toxic and mm -hmm. I'm, I mean, as consumers, it feels like we ex we now, they now expect games so frequently when they really mm -hmm. they don't need to crunch. Like you could just, especially games like this not, that are huge and take a ton. Yeah, of like they're pushing it, and they they all push it to please the consumers to get it out mm -hmm. for the PS5, to get it out in time for this and out in time for that. When that's the toxic part of the culture that I don't like. Where mm -hmm. I hate waiting, but I'll fucking wait. You know, if it's going to be good, yeah, if you were care. to come and say Cyberpunk's now going to be a year and a half out, the whole gaming community would be up in arms, pissed off. But that's where, that's mm -hmm. where we do our part by just having the respect for it. Yeah, to like chill, chill out and let it happen when it happens. I think I would feel better. Um, I was watching some kind of funny stuff, and he was talking about how they they crunch too, essentially when they do because they do some video game showcases and stuff like that. And he's like. Yeah, instead of a 9 to 5 when we're doing weeks of these showcases, it is, you know, it's not to the level of a video game developer where it's months and months and months of it. It's like a couple of weeks where all of them are working crazy hours to get the stuff done, but it's like they want to do that because they want it to be good and they want it. He's like, "So it's it's in everything, but I think with video games it's it comes off worse because the pay is worse." Mm -hmm. Like the pay is bad and it's all based off bonuses, so if games don't sell well even when you're crunching, is it worth your time and exhaustion? And also, I don't know. I think it, it would be better if there were more standards for rest and pay and overtime and all that. But the only Not thing in this can, country. Yeah, the only thing they can do and try to do that would be to try and unionize, which would be hard to do. Yeah. So it sucks. I mean, I'm excited for Cyberpunk. I still don't know if I'm going to get it right away or not. I might, like, yeah. ask for for Christmas and then get it, like, a month out from PS5. That's fair. Yeah. A good idea. Because then I'll be done with Spider-Man for sure. I don't know if I'll be done from with uh, Demon Souls. We'll see. I'm getting my face pounded really hard. <laughs> <laughs> You'll have to let me know how that one is. Oh, it's gonna it's gonna look beautiful and I'm sure it'll be fun because I played Demon Souls back on PS3. Wait. And the only other thing from newswise I have pulled is that Fall Guys season two is coming October eighth. Mm -hmm. And I have still not hopped back into Fall Guys. I wanted to when they did like the mid season refresh and added Big E to that hammer and stuff and I never did. So this tweet specifically mentions that winning crowns is challenging. So they're adding ways for people who, you know, don't really win or can't win consistently because it's hard. Uh, 
more ways to get crowns for like I think they're going to be adding challenges and there's probably going to be more in the level up tiers and that kind of a thing just so people cool. can get more of the cool costumes that were only crown specific and it also sounds like they're coming up with a new way to reward the most competitive players that will hit the game beyond season two cool and they're also adding nameplates it sounds like so it seems really cool I'm ex- I love Fall Guys I haven't played it in a few weeks but I might as well just wait until season two drops, which yeah. is Thursday. Sweet. So yeah, I'm into that. You didn't really play yeah, Fall Guys that much, right? No, I played it a day or two, and I, I really liked it, um, but it didn't so fun. quite grab me. I, like, I'll like. i go back into it, but... Did you ever win? Did you ever get a crown? Mm, I don't think so. I don't think so. I got a lot of crowns, like 16 or something like that. Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> There nice. was one night where I think I won like five times. I won three in a Way row, me, man. which there's a trophy for winning five in a row, which is fucking impossible, but I got kind of close. I mean, it. yeah, you never know. Fuck it's one that. of those things, the longer the game's out, I think that'll be even harder to do, because there's going to be just people playing who are so, so good at it, and that's going to be yeah. a lot of it. Yeah. Do you have any news? Did you bring any news to the table before we get off? Of um, no, but I brought more rumors, which appears to be my thing every Ooh. week. So uh, the rumor about the Pokemon Master Collection. Um, did you hear about that? No. Oh. All these Pokemon rumors. Is this the... I'm super stoked. Um, some people, uh, the article that I read said it was found on 4chan, which they were like, take it with a huge grain of salt. But also the person that leaked it was 100% correct with all their sword and shield information. Okay. Um, so they're like, to, you know, do with that information as you wish, but they're saying it's going to be... Um, Pokemon Super Collection. Yeah, posted on 4chan, now deleted post. Mm-hmm. So it sounds like it could be legit, because, I mean, I've, we've... I just feel like there's such a people have such a connection to the older Pokemon games, and there's no way to bring them back except on the handhelds. And with the handhelds being mm-hmm. off the market, essentially for the most yeah, part, yeah, they discontinued the 3DS um, a couple months ago. I assume they'll do something like this. <laughs> so I got kind of excited um, with that potential, and I think that they were. This collection doesn't sound like one that we want, though. So it states that the games are X Y. Omega Ruby Alpha Alpha Sapphire and Sun and Moon. It also claims that there will be five games in total. What do you mean that, that we wouldn't want that? I mean, we don't Alpha want Alpha Sapphire. Is that's the whole? I would buy the thing just to play Alpha Sapphire. Yeah, I do want to play those, days. but I don't want to play Sun and Moon. I'll do X and Y. Also, so like X for, and Y wasn't that long ago. I like X and Y a lot though. Yeah, but to bring it to the TV to the home console, I think is kind of the thing that they're going after. Um, I just want gold and silver, man. I think it should be... It should... Well, I guess for everybody to get the most Pokemon, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire makes sense, because they added a shit ton of legendaries back into it and everything. See? But that's where, if it were me, like it would make more sense to do Hard Gold, Soul Silver, Omega, Alpha, and then X and Y, and then or do you later think- on do Black and White, Sun and Moon... Do you and think they would up res, like, Fire Red and Leaf Green? Like, just do the remakes? Mm. Like, do the three remakes, and then finally bring back Diamond and Pearl, well, and then what's after Diamond and Pearl, Black and White? Yeah. Yep. But it would Black, pull. black White, Black 2, White 2. I never played Black and White 2, because I was salty. Because they came out after were, the 3DS came out, and they weren't on the 3DS. <laughs> so I didn't play good. them. <laughs> um... No, I don't think they'll do Leaf Green Fire Red because they did the Let's Go games, and I feel like that was that's true. I mean, Leaf very Green, Fire Red close. Better than that, but <laughs> yes, amazing. They're literally they're so good. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, I don't know. I was pretty excited about this news. I again take it with a grain of salt, but if it does happen, you know, I'm all over that. Right. It says 2021. I mean, I'd be down, and then I assume because when the Switch first came out, there were rumors, well, just like fan mock-ups of things, where it's like all Pokemon games, like, just ported to the Switch and then, like, all have access to the Pokemon Bank, which is now Pokemon World? What is it called? Pokemon Home? That's it. <laughs> Close. <laughs> <laughs> I still haven't done that. I still have all my game, my Pokemon in the bank that I need to move Oh, man, over. get on it. 
I don't think they expire. It's fine, right? Mm, is the bank going to expire, though? That's a good question. I should check that. <laughs> what if it already has? We will see. Brandon have a meltdown. I lost all my Pokemon. <laughs> Fuck. I got some rare ones on there, too. I mean, that seems cool. I'm into this. I'm into Pokemon. Yeah, that would stuff. be, like I said, even if it's... I. It's weird that they're going to dump... Uh, Hard gold, so silver, diamond, and pearl, but it could also be a sign that that's something different. That maybe they're remaking um, them fully. Yeah. So. When. Something to keep an eye on. Did Pokemon DLC was? Did we talk about that last week? Yeah, October twenty second. Okay. And they actually added a feature. They're gonna be adding the feature um, to enable hidden abilities. So your Pokemon has hidden abilities. Mm -hmm. Um. You'll be there. You're gonna get like another charm kind of thing, uh, or whatever it is that you can uh, okay. um, like utilize the hidden abilities and stuff. That's cool. Yeah. So. I'm interested in that. I haven't played the DLC at all. I don't even have it. God, this sun fucking sucks. Just like covering yeah. my face even because it's so bright. Yeah, I know. It's mine too. <laughs> like, yeah, that's about all I got though. All right. Before I hit you with some questions. Last week, our question was, what made you a gamer? Which we discussed. And then Ben and Amber responded with stuff that theirs was on Twitter. So Kool-Aid responded, Mario Brothers started it. Donkey Kong Country hyped it up. Uh, God of War solidified it and Overwatch intensified it. He's like, also shout out to Smash Bros, Pokemon, Fallout, and Borderlands. Nice. So those are all his games and all legit. I know Overwatch is probably the game he's put the most time into out of all video games. So that makes sense i remember the That's first cool. god of war back on ps2 i like forced him to play he got a ps2 from Vinny's, i think and i like brought him a memory card in god of war because i knew he would like it because it's just like violent over the top like fun action game and now the one on ps4 just actually takes the story to a great level and then reinvents mm -hmm. the combat oh it's so good fuck god of war so good <laughs> um <laughs> and then amber responded as well she said amber is kool-aid slash ben's fiance for context not that that really means anything context wise but <laughs> no people know Bill's story um she said probably the original mega man for nes nice. and then the little mermaid game for nes because she saw that there could be female main characters which that's just another point in the fact that like people don't see how representation matters and like her as a child saw that you could play as a girl in the video games. She was like, fuck yeah, I'm into this. Mm -hmm. And then she also said Super Mario Brothers 2 because you could be Peach and that was a huge deal as well. So it's like, representation fucking matters and people still can't wrap their head around that. They don't that. get it. And they argue because, it when yeah. like people added a, I think it was Battlefield 1 where they added like female soldiers and the fucking cis white males on Reddit were like, there weren't male, there weren't female soldiers in World War One. This is historically inaccurate. They can't be there, and the devs were just like, "Deal with it." <laughs> yep. Yep. It's just it's like come ridiculous. On. Yeah. It's ridiculous. I don't know. So it has Crazy an impact track. when you see somebody who looks like you in a video game. You're like, "Fuck yeah, I could play as this person like me." And right. like, um, I don't know if you saw the video going around when they did the PS5 bigger reveal a couple weeks ago. With Miles Morales, because there was the... I forget what flag it was. But it was from a different country. And then one of the guys watching it, like, Twitch streaming it, like, that's where he was from. And he was like, holy shit, I didn't expect to see that. And then they have the whole festival and everything like that. And he was just, like, so stoked. And it was just another thing where representation matters. He's like, shit, I didn't think I was going to get that emotional <laughs> watching this event. Cool. I don't remember. Yeah, I don't want to say the wrong, flag, the wrong flag or the wrong country. So I'll try and find it, but... My Twitter is... No, people definitely don't understand. And that goes for everything out there. Like, literally everything. Mm -hmm. Representation yeah, matters. Movies, TVs, um, video games. I just, just where read you an work. article. Diversity. Yeah, like, the guy from... Uh, Fantastic Beasts. The main character. Um, the guy who plays Newt Scamander. What's his name? Yeah, so I, I want to say, like... His name. Whatever. He stood up for J.K. Rowling and, like said that people need to stop okay. bashing her and this that about trans rights and it's like says the straight white man who played a trans girl in a film and yeah um they were like you played like it's where representation matters because he played a girl mm -hmm. as like as what was the term they used like a girly like a girly like just not 
correct. Oh. Like mocking. Like as if you were mocking uh, a girl, that's kind of how they said it seemed, where you can't be a girl if you're not a girl. You can't be a trans girl right. if you're not a trans girl. Like, <laughs> like you don't know how that actually yeah, is. Yeah, like representation matters. And the, the gaming industry, I think, is really good at catching up quicker than mm -hmm. everything else in the world. Definitely. Um, well, it's also because a lot of game companies have hundreds and thousands of employees. Not that movies don't, but they're working more consistently and they're just more diverse in general. So I yeah. think that helps because they can, you know, if people don't know about it, their employees will tell them about it and they have meetings and it's all about, you know, inclusion, being inclusive and diverse and <laughs> talking yeah. about it so everybody knows and can learn. Because some people, some people are ignorant because they just don't know. And then some people are ignorant because they're assholes. So it's like, you got to weed mm -hmm. those out. Got to weed out the assholes and then teach the people who just don't know. Because yeah. people like me and you, I mean, there, there's definitely still, I'm sure I still have unchecked biases and stuff. <laughs> and if I say something, I just want someone to let me know. Be like, hey, uh, that's not cool. I'm like, yeah. oh, shit, I'm sorry, I didn't know. But so many people just get defensive. And they're like, no, it's fine. It's you're You're overreacting. You're just sensitive. Mm. And it's like, well... If somebody's sensitive mm. about this subject, even if that is the case, which it isn't, you're just being an asshole. But right. like, take their feelings into consideration. You wouldn't want somebody to fucking. If it's not you, off. then you don't get a say in someone else's feelings or right. opinions, kind of exactly. thing. Like, sorry. All right, I'm trying to find this uh, thing from the flag. Yeah, but I like too much stuff on Twitter. <laughs> There's just so much. Um, there's just so many memes, so this is a no context Among Us thing, and it's like Jesus must die for our sins, and then one of the guys in the game's named Jesus, and he's like, "What?" And then they just all vote for Jesus and to eliminate him. <laughs> it's like, goddamn, nice. I still haven't played Among Us. I want to. Cody was talking about it last night, and I thought about picking it up on PC. You can play for free on your phone, but on PC would just be a smoother experience. God, I just have two many likes oh yeah you can fall so now in fall guys when the screen loads and you're all dropping or you're just dropping and it's loading in now you drop with your friends on the loading screen which is cool, cool. be the victim rage there's a lot of among us memes that i've liked in here holy shit yeah i'm not gonna be able to find this i like way too much stuff especially with the political spectrum and political memes at this point Apparently, I like a lot of the things that uh, The Rock and James Gunn tweet. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I'm not going to find it. We'll get on to some questions. Are you ready? I believe I am ready. Okay. <laughs> so we got some... I don't know how many of these I'll ask. It depends on how, how long we go with them. So since we're kind of... We're in spooky season. It's October. I found this one today. Uh, have you ever stopped playing a game because it was too scary? Whether it's just for a little bit of time or you permanently stopped playing it? Mm-hmm. It's, yep. And if you did, uh, which games? Um, so I like scary games. Mm -hmm. I don't too. care about, you know, like, it's cool. It doesn't bother me. I love horror movies. I love all that. But for some reason... <laughs> On the 360, I want to say, um, Condemned 2. Oh, Condemned I think is it intense. Was. The second one? Yeah. yeah. So, like, I don't even know where this game came from, which is kind of freaky in itself. Like, <laughs> cannot recall. My brothers played, like, Call of Duty and shit. So I'm like, what okay. the fuck? Where's yeah. this game? And, like, our gaming uh, room used to be in the basement of the old house. Okay. So it was kind of cool, but it was, like, cold and damp. But it was, like, set yeah. up nicely. But it was... 50 creepy, 50 creepy, creepy. yeah so this game pops up one day <laughs> so i pop it in and i'm playing it and i'm playing it and i'm playing it and i'm like yeah fuck this i can't i can't focus when i'm in terror <laughs> well, yeah so, condemned I, is rough yeah i'd say that that's pretty much the only one that so I you never recall. finished it no fuck no okay i was done i was out i was like all right i can't see shit i'm scared i don't like this <laughs> Okay, so Ryan's in the chat, and he has... His game is my game as well. Um, I have finished this game, and he did as well, but his is the same. So it took him a long time to finish Dead Space, he says. 
And that's where I'm at as well. Like, I love the original Dead Space. Dead Space 1 and 2 are both amazing, like, survival horror games. The first one is more scary to me because towards the end of the first one, I started to just get good at it. <laughs> so it wasn't as scary. Yeah. But I had to stop. Like, I, I, I play for, like, a half hour, an hour, and it's just so tense and, like, so, like, I can't, I couldn't just, like, grind it, but I loved it. So it's, like, after a chapter or half a chapter even in save points, I'd have to bounce out and come back later or whatever i also like made it scary for myself that was a game i played it with the lights out and everything because cool. i liked it but it does me and i mean dylan, that's what i did me and dylan were actually talking about dead space yesterday and it's one of those games where it does there are certain things that are scarier and make settings scarier so like isolation's a big thing that's scary um space being in space is a big thing that's scary and then like yeah. fucked up religious shit is scary and Dead Space does all of that extremely well. <laughs> That's why it's so terrifying. And it puts the... Did you play Dead Space? I played it on the Wii, which doesn't really count, no, I hear. No, that's the but... Unreal's one. So that's not the same as regular Dead Space. Um, Similar so, with no. the monsters, the necromorphs and stuff. But it's third-person shooter, survival horror. But you're using, like, engineering tools. So I don't remember what the gun is called. It's not Plasma Cutter. But that's what I want to what I want to say. But I don't think that's what it's close. Called. But so you have to cut off limbs. Doing limb damage deals more damage. So you want to like cut off legs, cut off arms, and it's like a line gun that you rotate. Because if you're shooting for the head or for the body, mm -hmm. they're gonna it's gonna take way longer to kill them. So you have to change the way you think about playing shooting games, which was also a really cool idea. But man, that game has a lot of moments that scared the shit out of me. Just talking about it makes me want to play it. But it still might be one of those things where I've I played that game a lot, like multiple times, to do like some trophy hunting and stuff. And I'm wondering if I still know it too well for it to be scary. Kind of a thing. If that makes sense. Yeah, I know you guys have talked about it a lot. Yeah, and Dead Space Two is also really really fun. Really scary. Dead Space Three is fun, but it's not scary. It kind of went the Resident Evil Five route where it added co-op yeah. options and then it's just more action-y. There were some spooky parts because it's on like an ice planet and some of the necromorphs are in the ice so they do their good jump scares with that. But besides that, it's not really scary. I'm trying to think of other scary games. I don't think I've ever stopped any and not finished them. Well, I don't like scary games that don't let me fight. The ones like Amnesia and stuff like that where you have to like run and hide and that's your only option yeah i just don't like those that's not fun to me it is scary but it's more frustrating when i'm trying to progress as opposed to scary after a little while do you play those there was one on the wii called obscure it wasn't like I've heard super that, scary but we would all like do what you did like intentionally turn all the lights off yeah. We play as a group kind of thing. Um, it would freak us out a little bit, but it was like a little bit of a Resident Evil vibe. Um, but like for an older game. Here? And like now it's like I have a different oh, yeah. mindset for all games because I'm far more, um, whatchamacallit, like into the gaming world. So I'm. Yeah. Did you ever play. More, until dawn i still never finished that i didn't leave because it was scary just the group of people i was playing it with we just never got together and played it again that's a fun one i want to just play like we should do a couple nights and just hang out and have one person play it and we all kind of like make decisions Did yeah that would it? be cool um i dabbled in it okay i remember just kind of starting but never that would be fun even if it's just anything. like me you and chris because it's probably like six to eight hours so we'd have to do it over at least a yeah. couple nights but like we could just chill and like rotate who's playing or like you just play and me and chris make the decisions for you <laughs> or something like that that would be fun yeah i'm down for that then i'm trying to think of other scary games i really like so resident evil's obviously oh one that i had to walk away from i did end up finishing it but one that i had to take breaks from dead space style was the resident evil remake of the first one on gamecube did you play that ever uh no when did the remake come out i don't think I, okay. so gamecube is a generation that i completely missed out on um it came out gamecube came out when i was in seventh grade so also when you were in seventh grade and that's when this remake came out so it was to the point where i like 
was up and down on spooky stuff still and like i didn't hadn't really played resident evil before and i yeah. rented it once and me and one of my friends were playing it and it was scary like it looked the graphics were amazing at the time and it was terrifying and like ugh, i had to walk away from that one <laughs> i eventually came back and finished it but as a younger kid i was like nope not not for me and now i love resident evil games like it's one of my favorite franchises in the past not so much recently because i haven't played it i haven't played seven i played the re2 remake and i really love that because re2 is one of my favorites resident evil 4 probably would still be at least in like my top 20 games of all time but huh. there aren't a lot of good survival horror games now especially in the vein of dead space and og resident evil a lot of them are like amnesia i keep just saying amnesia because i can't think of other ones that are like it where you have to run away and there's no um and i don't like that yeah i don't know i can't really think of any either the last of us is spooky like part two had some spooky elements to it yeah a little little jump scares here and there yeah i keep looking at my shelf but i buy everything digital now so that doesn't help me I know there was something I was playing that made me tense this year. Yeah, I don't, like, I mean, there's games like Prey and stuff, but I feel like those can't really even be... Depends who's into it. Like, horror for me now has jumped up a level, Mm -hmm. you know, when it comes to the video game aspect of it. Yeah, and it's hard to create a tense environment, which is what I like more so than just, like slashers chasing you around like i love slasher movies like friday the 13th but like the video game friday the 13th isn't really scary it's fun it's just the multiplayer one where one person plays as jason and like there's eight camp yeah it's not quite the same yeah that's not scary to me it's cool but it's not scary i'd like a a really good one i'd be more interested like all the ones that come out like Nothing's really been like, yeah, that's what I need to play. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, and it's like, I want, I still want, the reason I didn't play Resident Evil 7 yet, because people loved it, it's on Game Pass now, so I might not into it. I want to try and play 6 just to get the story. I don't know if that's going to happen. But Resident Evil 8 looks cool. That's coming out next year. Resident Evil 7, I heard, yeah. is really good. But I wanted to play it in VR, because I was going to get PSVR, and you can play the whole thing in VR. And then I never got VR, and then I just never played it. So I might hop in and play it on game pass at some point if i have a drought but i don't know if i'll have a drought i'm getting into new vegas so yeah that'll be nice i don't know i'm hooked in my current ways of life yeah all right so we did this oh no what no delete that there we go why are you not deleting the text Google. Stupid. Okay, there is a ideal answer for this question, and I'm assuming you'll have it. Have you ever wanted to live in a world from a game? I assume the answer is yes. And if so, which one and why? I'm thinking we'll have the same answer for this. Do you want me to go first? But then you're just going to agree yes. with mine. So I kind of want you to go first. <laughs> there's a, you could there could be multiple. You don't have to pick just one. But there's one specific mm. one that is like perfect. Is it though? All right, you get to go first because I went first last time. Okay. I promise I won't just agree with you. Okay. Uh, the right answer is the Pokemon world. <laughs> Because being a Pokemon trainer and having Pokemon around would be the ideal job. Or working with Pokemon, like what? I can just decide when I'm 15 to go be a fucking trainer and just go out on my own and make money? Hell yeah. I'm into that. That's what I would want to do. Okay, you make a good point. (laughs) Yeah, (laughs) the the Pokemon world, hell yeah. (laughs) I don't know. Uh... As a kid, I was like, yeah, I want to do this. I want this to be my job. As an adult, life. it's the same. I want to do this, and I want this to be my job. I would, too. But Harry, uh, Harry Potter is pretty legit, also. The whole... I would do that. All the, I would do any job in the Harry Potter world. That's true. That's more 
book like cinematic universe not game universe though uh it, correction <laughs> hogwarts legacy is very well on its way that game's not out though that game universe it doesn't will exist be. yet and there's also i <laughs> believe i played pc games when i was what a about lad. just a video game world ah oh, man i'm gonna force you I mean, that like would be Harry like Potter if I Lego, it does that would count. be like if I picked Avengers and that's that's yeah, superhero it's in there. Comic, yeah it's cool. I mean yeah <laughs> like no okay I mean I would have to agree with the Pokemon thing um, obviously like no one's picking but, The Last of Us no one wants to live in that world right <laughs> but like if I had to pick something that wasn't Pokemon um, condemned. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> that's what I want. Um, no, like it's really tough. Like, it is tough. Pokemon's like perfect because really it's not, you know, death and destruction. Violent and terrifying yeah. and everybody's going to be murdered. Um, Let's look. I don't know. Like everything is, you're right. Like everything's really dark and scary, but yeah, I'd almost want to pick... Um, I want to say Skyrim, but I was that, you know, I was just thinking anyway. that too. I was like, yeah, Fantasy World would be cool. Um, Skyrim or Zelda, like Breath of the Wild style yeah. Zelda, that would be legit. Yeah, that would be really cool. Ah, um, I don't think I'd want hmm. to pick like Final Fantasy, just because there's lots of death and too much uh, destruction around, and I wouldn't have superpowers like most of the people do in those games, in those worlds. Well, that's like Skyrim is like dark and scary sometimes. I'm just kind of looking at my shelves. <laughs> Assassin's Creed might be cool if you're someone working mm. in like the Animus project. Which one? And though? you're jacking in. Uh, just like, oh, not. I don't know which one. I want to say Black Flag because doing the pirate shit would be cool if I was leading the charge mm -hmm. that way. I never played Syndicate, but I really like that setting. And I know people like Syndicate. I'd have to go with the Odyssey. Yeah. I mean, Valhalla, mm -hmm. I think I like that setting a ton, even though I haven't played that game. But that would be cool to be in the Viking mm -hmm. setting and leading that into that. Yeah, but it's going to be cold and wet. And it's just not my thing. <laughs> I but mean, Odyssey's going to be... You son of a bitch. Wet. <laughs> what? I hate you. What is he doing? Just playing? Uh, he just got the character that I've been wanting for since I started playing this game. Oh, really? Which one did you want? Yeah. Barbara? No, Barbara's a bitch. Barbara sucks. Oh, okay. Barbara's the one that's... Barbara fucking sucks. Uh, Venti uh, is a wind bard. Okay. Well, now that we're talking about that, uh, what have you been playing recently? <laughs> uh, I played Killing Floor for a day with all my friends, and it was great. And then I That was before uh, last playing... week's show, even. <laughs> I know, I know. And then I was playing Apex for forever, but now... <sighs> Genshin Impact came out, and I have made a blood sacrifice to never stop playing this game. <laughs> no, if people um, don't know, is, what is Genshin Impact? Um, if you don't know, uh, it is very much like a JRPG had like had a baby with Breath of the Wild. Yeah, free to play. Right? And it's free to play. It's definitely uh, st stolen some money out of my wallet. Uh, yeah. Not forcefully, <laughs> though. Everything to. I've read is yeah. that you can play and do like everything without a paywall. Yeah. You get everything. It has whatever that system is that they keep calling it. Um, like a lottery system kind of oh, thing. Oh, like gosh, you can put money into it. Yeah. Um, you don't need to, though. You legitimately get all the credits you need to participate in getting mm. new people and new characters and new items um but anyways um it's really cool it's fucking beautiful it's incredibly intricate it looks good um, i played like a, an hour of it maybe if i wasn't playing yeah. new vegas i'd probably sink time into it but i really want to play new vegas yeah no that's fair i mean it's definitely going to be time consuming but like mm -hmm. i recommend everybody at least give it a shot it's free it's 
which still blows yeah. my mind that it's free with everything. I didn't I'm... know it was going to be free when it got announced. It got announced a couple years ago, and there was controversy. Yeah. Cause people were like, it's exactly like Breath of the Wild, which it is very similar, even with some of the but enemies not... they've taken. But the combat is way different, and like the world is... It's just, you have it's... four characters at a time that you can swap between yeah, real quick. Every which I didn't realize seconds. until I played it. Also, there's multiplayer, which I also didn't know. Mm-hmm. Until like raids and it, temples and stuff. Which is sweet. Um... Yeah, it's really cool. Like, really, I'm really enjoying it. Obviously, Chris got into it last night. Now mm-hmm. he's been playing since he woke up. I um, know Gary was playing it. I think Dylan downloaded it, so I'm sure he's going to try it at some point. Yeah, and it's available everywhere. It's on everything: your phone, your PC, your Is PlayStation, it on, like, your Xbox? Xbox. Yeah, it should. I believe so because I just downloaded it on my phone the other day. Um, Let's see. Yeah. Uh, uh, definitely yeah. So shot. PS4, Android, iOS, Windows. Uh, also on Switch. It might not be on Xbox. Hmm. Let me look. Um. Everything I've been reading and seeing in the communities and the forums and stuff is that it it looks great on everything. Mute that. Um. Every platform. Is it cross progression? Like, can you log in on your phone and play with your characters that you have? I'm gonna find out what i'm curious about so yeah it's on ps4 ios android and pc it's coming to switch i assume it's also going to be coming to xbox at some point i don't know Hmm. but yeah everything i've read and everything you've told me is that the free-to-play aspect isn't you don't really hit like a paywall which one of the i read an article last night i think on like kotaku or might have been on reset era or something about how Whenever this guy who has been playing it and sinking a ton of time into it is talking about it, everyone's like, oh, when do you hit the paywall? How pay- how rough's the paywall? That kind of a thing, because free-to-play games tend to have that. And he's like, I haven't really. He said he explored the whole map. He's done everything. He said the biggest thing was more so getting adventure points, which is how you can progress the story, it sounds like, leveling mm-hmm. up your adventure. Your adventure rank. Yeah, your adventure rank. He said eventually he ran out of things to do that. And then he just had to come back every day and do it. But there wasn't really a way to pay to get those points. It was more so the game just slowed down. Not that he had to pay yeah. money. But that was already after he had sunk 60 plus hours into it without spending anything. Yep. I'm I like, get that's that. That's legit. Like, this game's fucking huge and fun. And you can play multiplayer, which is well, crazy. The story um, is really good. And then the lore, like, you can pick up books. You can read about the lore. They, they compare it to Skyrim. Okay. With all the different little tidbits you can pick up here and there, and uh, really, like, there's a lot. You get like bonuses for um, completing sets of books. Um, okay. Well, yeah, and there were like in-game achievements that help you get currency. Yeah. And like, also the big thing that the article is talking about, which you also mentioned, that there's no problem with inventory space. You literally have like no cap. Yeah, basically. Thirty thousand. Thirty thousand yeah. is your inventory slots, which is nuts. Yeah. <laughs> and the article. And you're finding shit. I mean, there's shit everywhere. I just got a trophy for unlocking 100 chests in the first area yeah because the chests are random through the right? trophies kind of yeah they're everywhere yeah um there was one this one area monstat that we're in it's like unlocked 600 chests in this area and then i was like oh sweet and then it's like in the next area of the map unlock 600 more chests like oh, that's a fuckload of chests yeah goddamn. um so yeah i highly highly recommend yeah and one of the things that it mentioned I didn't notice it going slow when I started the game, but one guy said to try and if you're if you're not feeling it, try and get through the intro at least because then it opens up mm-hmm. and gets way cooler. And I was digging it it, even quick. in the intro. Yeah, I was like, I got yeah, the second character, it. and then I still didn't finish everything for the intro. Yeah, once you get past that, it's. I mean, you can just explore and just go to town, and that's. Mm-hmm. And the great. conversations are really funny. Like you sent me the yeah. one of the little kid. <laughs> yeah. It's a little boy on the bridge. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, it's too funny. I'm glad I saved it. Usually, I don't always catch those things. But yeah. So this kid on the bridge, I was just talking to him because I was just talking to all the NPCs. Mm-hmm. And he's like, fuck, what did he say? Uh, so, oh, the pigeons. Why'd you scare away my pigeons? Yeah. <laughs> and, I, and then my character was like, oh, don't worry. They'll come back. <laughs> and he was like, yeah, yeah. Uh, or maybe it'll be like just like when daddy left and like never came back like <laughs> yeah <laughs> like, you sent me the snapchat of that i was like what the fuck shit. this is Holy hilarious shit. 
Yeah, and uh, I guess there's more. There's more characters that just say ridiculous things. I'm pretty sure I found a couple in the game that they're watching, like, this kid play by the water, and I'm like, they're basically saying he doesn't have much time left. (laughs) Oh, shit. (laughs) They're like, let's just let him enjoy everything while he can. I'm like, holy fucking savage. That's brutal. (laughs) So, yeah, it's amusing. Yeah, and they're going to be adding regions, more regions and everything, from what I was reading. I'm assuming Um, those will be free, but they could maybe charge for them. I have no idea. I mean, even if they do, it sounds like it would be worth it. Yeah, cool. That's That excites me. I haven't been playing that much. It's been... I played some New Vegas for a few hours yesterday, again, finally. But otherwise, I've been playing a ton of Killing Floor. It's been one of those things where it's like I get home, I work out, like shower and eat, and then someone's online and i'm like hey want to play and then i think we played like three or four nights this week it's been super fun because the new event started and we're trying to complete everything to get halloween stuff like i got a lime green jack-o'-lantern head and ryan got just a regular jack-o'-lantern head and dylan has like a pig mask head (laughs) so the halloween shit's cool that's cool and then if we complete all the challenges we get like some backpack item and then some more halloween stuff i don't know i'm hoping stuff goes on sale because there's different cosmetics and different guns and on PC, stuff's on all on sale right now once the event started. But I'm mm. thinking it might be because the event started on a, what, Wednesday, Thursday? On a mm. Thursday. And, like, PSN usually updates for that kind of shit on Tuesdays. So I'm hoping I might actually mm. just buy some stuff. And then we did some remote nice. raids in Pokemon. I can't believe we took down that Moltres mm, yeah. with just three of us. Yeah, that was <laughs> real close. With, what, like, what, seven like seconds? seconds? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was close. Yeah, that was um, close. And then we all did a what Charizard did we do last one? night? Last night? Yeah, Charizard last night. Which I'm close. I think I have like 140 Charizard energy now. Nice. I'm closer to that mega Charizard. Oh uh, yeah. There. That's all I've been playing. Yeah, same. Same here. I don't know. It's all booted up, waiting for me over on the side here. Yeah, I think I gotta do That's video chat. I gotta oh, check. Oh, oh. oh, nice. I gotta check my fantasy footballs. I gotta chat with my fam. Yeah. You got anything else? Yeah, nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Alright. Well, this is my game talk. Thanks for hanging out, everyone. I did have some more questions. We'll get to those next week. I know we got some Twitter responses. We'll talk about them next week. Nice. Uh, we stream, hopefully, every Sunday at 10 a.m. Post it to YouTube later that day. LRD Brandon on Twitter, Instagram, Laird Brandon on Twitch and YouTube. Ryan, you are Dark Siren eighty nine with a Y. Yes, please spell it with a Y. I am on everything: Twitter, Instagram, all my fucking gaming platforms. You're only kind of on Twitter. You find me. Only tr- I'm trying. I'm trying to keep it keep it in <laughs> mind and delve into it a little more. So yeah, yeah. Check it out. It. Check us out. Hit us up. Leave comments for questions. We'll talk about them. So we're kind of like I like the question format where we're just discussing more. Yeah. It's more fun and then it's more Down unique than just spitting news out at you guys. All right. So, thanks for tuning in. Everyone have a great day. Happy Sunday. Bye.